Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my December 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unbagging. Finally, this one came so much later than the rest of my beauty subscriptions this month. I got my regular Ipsy Glam Bag long ago and I also got my uh, Boxy Charm Premium and my Boxy Luxe Box boxes already. So those are up on my YouTube channel if you haven't seen those unboxings yet. But I am so excited to get into this. This is a monthly beauty subscription that, gosh, what does this cost now? Like $30? I just can't even keep up with the price increases that both Ipsy and BoxyCharm are passing along. But I have really enjoyed the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus because you get to choose three out of your five full-size products. Therefore, I feel like my bags are much more curated to what I actually want now. So I think I must have also gotten some of my Ipsy Point Redemption products in here because this product that's loose um, looks familiar. I can't remember what I chose for my Ipsy Glam Bag, so it's still like a surprise to me, but I don't think I would have chosen a mask, and I kind of remember choosing this in points. This is from the brand Yensa. It's the Pumpkin Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask with eight super orange essence. I love the brand Yensa. I'm not necessarily in need of a new exfoliator, so I'm surprised that I redeemed points for this, but I bet it's a great product. But let's actually go into my Ipsy Glam Bag here. And oh my gosh, I love the design of the bag this month. This is so cute. The light pink with the gold stars. And I actually love to use the Glam Bag Plus bags, these drawstring bags, as gift bags. They're also great for throwing a bottle of wine in for that type of gift. So I'm really excited about this. This is so pretty. So let's see what this card says. No product information, but that's okay. I'll just go into the app. It has horoscope information. I'm a Leo. Take time to master your fave makeup techniques. That does sound like a good horoscope for me. <laughs> now I'm excited to start pulling out some products. So, Intenso Liner Duo. Is that the English side? <laughs> Tris Luce Beauty Gel Color Pencils. Oh, I got the shades Fuerte and Accomplished. So, some of this seems like it's in Spanish. It says it's not tested on animals, 13 hour wear, smudge resistant, transfer proof. So I feel like I got a lot of eyeliners this month. Or maybe I just got that one black eyeliner from the brand Persona in BoxyCharm, which is an amazing eyeliner. But I'm not too fond of getting more eyeliners just because I don't really use them that much and I have so many. Okay, wow, this brown does not seem like it matches what I was expecting from the package. I was hoping to get more of like a light brown beige shade, which would be different, but it looks dark brown and another black eyeliner. So not too thrilled about this, but it is from a brand that I'm not familiar with and I love to try new makeup brands. I think it's so cool that I'm still finding new makeup brands in Ipsy after so long. So the Tres Luce Beauty Intenso Liner Duo in Fuerte and Honest. Oh, okay, weird. See, the package said the shades Fuerte and Accomplished, but what I received, yeah, is the shade Accomplished and Fuerte, but the Ipsy app says a different shade, so not sure what's going on there. I would like a different shade than what I got. <laughs> But so, in the picture, it looks like the brown and the black. But if you got this eyeliner duo, let me know what shades you got. And it retails for $24. So, since these are all full-size products, I will add up my total retail value to let you know at the end. Oh, next up is from another brand that I like, Seraphine Botanicals. And cute packaging here. I feel like this is a very giftable product. The Lemon Balm and Thyme Nourishing Lip Scrub. I 
have so many lip scrubs and I know I'm always complaining about how dry and chapped my lips are, but I just cannot get myself to use a lip scrub. I've put them in the shower, I've put them with my skincare, morning and night routine products, and I just never want to use it. I don't know, it's just, I don't even know why. So if you use a lip scrub, let me know, encourage me to use mine in the comments down below because I bet this one is amazing. So let's see the retail value on the Seraphine Botanicals Lemon Balm and Thyme Nourishing Lip Scrub is $26. $26 for this kind of small lip scrub. I think that is very pricey. Next up, ooh, we've got a palette. Ooh, this looks so pretty from Shayna B. Miami. This is the Miami Nights Pressed Pigment Palette. Oh my goodness. So I forgot to mention that here on YouTube, I have a series where I try out a new makeup product every day. So I'm gonna be doing full dedicated review and tutorial videos on the makeup that I get in this glam bag. So I'm gonna save this, save the swatches and the tutorial for that. But oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. I love the colors upon first impression. Great neutrals, but then you've got some pops and a good shade range from light to dark. Love that silver sparkle. Yay, I am so excited to play around with this. I have definitely tried out other Shayna B Miami eyeshadows. So it's a brand that I've become familiar with through Ipsy. And the Shayna B Miami Miami Nights Pressed Pigment Palette retails for $20. All right, next up I've got, oh, from the brand Jekka Black Liquid Concealer. Vegan friendly, cruelty free. I love that I got a concealer because trying out foundations and concealers are just my favorites for some reason. And they're the products that I wear every single day without question. So I'm excited to try this out. I hope it's gonna be the right shade for me. I think the shade is 1.0 and it retails for $15. That's not crazy expensive for a good concealer. Also, it's hard to tell based off of this packaging size if it'll last me a while or not because some concealers you need the tiniest bit and this would be a lot. Other concealers, I need to use more. So I'm very excited to try this one out. I have to say I'm excited about the range of products in here. Eye palette, concealer, eyeliners, lip scrub. I mean, we've got the whole face covered pretty much. All right, let's see what else is in here. Okay, I'm looking on my app here because I should have one more product from my glam bag. And I have two products left in here. Neither of these are the product that I was supposed to get from my glam bag, so they forgot to send me a product. I was supposed to get the Rodeal Glass Primer, which I'm really excited about because I love the brand Rodeal, and I love trying out primers, and that's a $39 product that they just didn't include in my glam bag. That's really bad. I've actually never had that happen to me with Ipsy before, and I've gotten a lot of Ipsy bags. I've been subscribed for a long time, so I'm really bummed to see that. The other two products that I have in here are products that I redeemed points for. This is so heavy. It's the Studio Makeup Mascara, and it is in like the heaviest packaging. This is so weird. It's like real metal, I think. But I love trying out mascaras, so I'm excited to try this. And then the other product that I redeemed Ipsy Points for is this Sophia and Mabel Hydrating Lip Oil, which I think sounds really good for me. But wow, what a bummer about my missing product. So I, I can tell you my retail value of this glam bag without my $39 primer, it only brings me to $85 which my bag is supposed to be valued at $120 plus. So that is a real bummer. I was becoming really excited about this glam bag and the products that I got, but since I didn't get that product, I can't say that I'm happy with this. I'm definitely gonna reach out to Ipsy Support 
but I shouldn't have to do that for all the money that I spent on this. So that's a real bummer, but I am excited to use all the products that I have here in front of me. If you've tried out any of these products before, please let me know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. And if you have any tips, because then that just makes me even more excited to try them out. So thank you so much for watching this video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.